A recipe for oatmeal cookies calls for two cups of flour for every three cups of oatmeal. How much flour is needed for a big batch of cookies that uses nine cups of oatmeal? So they tell us, they tell us that we have two cups of flour. So let me write that down. Two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. We need two cups of flour for every three cups of oatmeal. For every three cups of oatmeal. Three cups of oatmeal. Oatmeal. Now, we need to figure out is how much flour is needed for a big batch that uses nine cups of oatmeal. So this is the same thing as, and this is what we need to figure out, we need to figure out how much, so let's just call that the amount of flour we need for this larger batch, let's call it x. That's equal to x cups of flour, x cups of flour, x cups of flour for nine cups of oatmeal for every nine cups of oatmeal. Nine cups of oatmeal. Oatmeal. So all we're saying, look, we need two cups of flour for every three cups of oatmeal. That has to be the same as x for every nine cups. The proportion has to hold. These ratios have to simplify to the same fraction. Now the easiest way to do this, we can just get rid of the cups of flour and the cups of oatmeal for now, and we can just view this as a simple proportion problem, where it's 2 over 3 is equal to x over 9. And the simplest way to solve this is to multiply both sides of this equation by 9. And the reason why we're multiplying by 9 is so it cancels out with this 9 in the denominator. You can view it as multiplying both sides of the equation by 9 over 1. So if you multiply both sides by 9 over 1, the left-hand side, you'll have a 9 in the numerator, 3 in the denominator. You can divide them both by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So your left side of the equation is 3 times 2 over 1. So it's 6 over 1. And that's going to be equal to, well, this 9 in the numerator and this 9 in the denominator, they cancel out. They can both be divided by 9. So they cancel out, so that is equal to x over 1. Or you can just view both both of 6 over 1 is the same thing as 6. x over 1 is the same thing as x. So we get x, x is equal to 6. So we've just figured out if the recipe calls for 2 cups of flour for every 3 cups of oatmeal, that means that we need 6 cups of flour for every 9 cups of oatmeal. So we figured out that x is equal to 6.